Lab Guy here. It's March 26th, 2021. This is part 6 of the Craig 6104 Viticon camera restoration project. Um, as I announced in a published bulletin on YouTube, uh, I have gotten pictures out of the uh, Viticon camera at this point. I was able to uh, convert the circuitry to uh, use the 8844 Viticon which I had in place of the 20 PE11, the original Viticon. In a future episode I'll go into those details. I've reached the point now where the camera will kind of make pictures but it's got all kinds of problems and that's okay. Um, the chances are extremely good that it's uh, capacitors. You'll note that I've put a blue, a blue dot on every capacitor on these boards and I will be going through and changing them. I purchased some capacitor kits uh, through eBay. Uh, every value is here high enough voltage ratings and the modern capacitors are small enough for the job. So uh, I'll spare you uh, watching me solder uh, but this uh, in this episode I'm going to change all of the capacitors on uh, these two circuit boards and uh, take it from there <laughs> all the capacitors. We have the deflection board and the video board. Um, the primary power supply seems to be okay. Uh, it seems like the really, really large filter capacitors in these uh, old cameras hold up better than than the small ones for whatever reason. And there is one other board that I believe has DC only on it. I believe it is responsible for vertical and horizontal centering of the image. The uh, scan waveforms are quite distorted which I'm certain is due to uh, bad capacitors and uh, so I now have all but two of the capacitors and that's these two axial capacitors which are both bipolar types a one microfarad and a two microfarad this evening I ordered uh, five pieces of one microfarad which are significantly smaller than those physically and a higher voltage rating and for the two microfarad I'll simply parallel two of the one microfarads. So uh, stand by and in the next scene uh, I should have all the capacitors replaced on these two boards. What a difference a few years can make. Hey. I want to show you this. Here's a 47 microfarad at 6.3 volts and here's a 47 microfarad at 10 volts. This is uh, pretty much guaranteeing that the capacitors I'm replacing the new ones will fit. <laughs> We've come a long way baby. 30 minutes. One board done video board. Not bad. This is all the capacitors so far. Twenty-five minutes for the deflection board. All the caps have changed. All right, let me clean up the soldering mess and put these back in the camera and see if there's any difference in the uh, image quality. I'm not expecting a lot. Not yet, but we'll see. All right, there's some uh, pictures of some stuff on my desk and my hand. So these are the first fairly good pictures that we're getting from this from this camera. We've got good contrast down in the uh, 
in the corner. That's a plastic bag that's making that mess. Let's get let's get a decent model or two in the picture, shall we? Can't see them. What the hell? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. Well, that's pretty bad. Huh. Well, I don't understand why the picture is so wiped out. Ah, let's try the beam control. That it? There it is. Wow, it's touchy. We don't know that the voltages are right for this tube. Uh, if you look closely, you should be able to see Spud and Felix in the picture. I don't know how that's coming out on the, on the video camera off the monitor there. I have a lot of lights on and we're washing out the monitor and and so on, but there they are. So that's our first uh, first imagery coming out of the out of the Craig 6104 camera. Those are our models. And this is the camera now on the bench aimed at our models. My desk and my bench are a mess, of course. And there they are on the monitor, although the, the light is washing out the monitor. This is so typical. I don't know, it looked better a moment ago. So we we have some stability issues. I know this wasn't one of the most exciting videos, uh, but I'm more interested in working on the camera than in shooting this video. So the the takes that I got are the takes that I got. And those are the takes that you saw. But we are uh, moving the project forward the Craig 6104 camera now makes images, is making images, and so now it's just a matter of going through replacing two more capacitors on the deflection board, which still may be our main problem. Those have been ordered. And then uh, basic troubleshooting techniques. Now if anybody out there has a 20 PE 11 Viticon that's holding vacuum, let me know because I can't be 100% certain that the substitute Viticon in this camera right now is uh, good enough for this job or not. I have a second one which I will try tomorrow. It's now 10 o'clock in the evening and I'm pretty much uh, burnt out on this. I've been uh, soldering for over an hour. Changed uh, 36 capacitors I believe at this point and uh, have reached this uh, this plateau of success. I'm very happy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like the video, you know what to do. Tell a friend. If you know somebody who might be interested in vacuum tube television cameras, the old standard definition black and white days, point them at my channel. And until next time, Lab Guy out. <laughs>